And hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. Um, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. All right, we're going to do this spread a little bit differently. We've got two cards that fell out. I haven't seen them yet. I'm going to look at them in just a minute. Um, but we're going to do past, present, and future in your person or somebody that's coming into your life. Whichever way it resonates, we'll, we'll find out as best we can. Um, we're also going to get your challenge and what you don't see coming. So let's see what we got. Ooh. Stiff competition. So we have a stiff competition here. You may be competing with somebody this week. We have their ex. Somebody's ex. So you may be competing with, well, it says their ex. So it feels like you're competing. Somebody may be using the ex as part of the competition. The X may be part of the competition. So what do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days? Past, present, and future. Past, present, and future. What do we have for Libra? Hangman reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. Knight of Swords in your past. What about the present? Ace of Swords reversed. Six of Swords reversed. Six of Wands. Mm. And your future. King of Cups. The Devil, but it came out sideways. So I feel like you're having a hard time. This is a challenge. A challenging challenge. Your chat, one of your challenges is breaking free from an obsession or an addiction or an infatuation. That's a challenge in your future. I feel like you're tempted. You're being tempted. Maybe you're being tempted by a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could also be a Capricorn. There's some sort of temptation here and you're struggling and that's in your future. This is the next seven days. You know, this is toxic behavior. It's obsession. Okay. It's infatuation. It's uh, unhealthy behavior. So I feel like your challenge is breaking free from some sort of obsession or infatuation or, you know, need to let go of your ego, pride maybe. Um, it's our ego. It's our fear that keeps us stuck. I'm going to leave it upright. Um, one more card for the future. Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles is a card of not accepting help, not accepting it. It's like victim mentality. It's there's 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 an opportunity available, but it's like you're not taking it. So let's talk about your person. Got two. Judgment reversed. Three of Wands. This person has made a... Oh, the Justice card. In the next seven days, or they've already made a decision. This King of Swords reversed. Um, your challenge. Three of Cups reversed. So, may have to do with a third party situation. You know, maybe there's been a termination. You know, this isn't this isn't happy. You know, I feel like the, that you were involved in a third party situation, or you're involved in a situation that is not making you happy. I mean, this is your challenge. It's unhappy about no reconciliation, no reunion of some sort. Um, what you don't see coming is a new beginning. Okay, this is exciting. This is a new spark. It's a new passion. It could be, even be a new sexual partner. This is a new path. It's exciting. Just go for it. What you don't see coming is growth, okay, is, it, is something exciting. You have an opportunity that is coming to you, but you don't see it. 
And I feel like you don't see it because there's refusing to look at things from a new perspective. Hangman in the past. Hangman reviews, reversed is extremely struggling. Missing an opportunity. Refusing to look at things from a new perspective. Uh, Seven of Swords reversed. It could be some sort of self-deception. Um, a need to be honest with yourself. I feel like uh, that Seven of Swords reverse is coming clean. Um, I feel like you keep on looking back. You keep on looking back at somebody from the past. I feel like you need to be assertive. You need to cut this out. You need to cut yourself free. You've really been thinking about some sort of deception or not being treated fairly in the past. I think that you've been isolating yourself. You've been in a place of solitude, you know. And refusing to look at things from a new perspective. If you, if you were to look up the hangman reversed, you would see that that is somebody that is struggling. Struggling with change. Struggling with releasing. Um, missing an opportunity. Missing an opportunity. I feel like you've been... Uh, I feel like there's self-deception here. It feels like blaming as well. You know, blaming everybody else. Not owning up to the truth. And I'm just being honest with you. The Knight of Swords is very assertive. Maybe maybe you've been wanting to fight some sort of change. The Knight of Swords is a battle. It's a fight. It's blaming. It's blaming. Maybe blaming somebody else for taking something that you thought was yours. The Hangman. Some of you are dealing with the Pisces or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius quite a bit. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn. Um... Denial. I feel like we have some sort of denial here with that Seven of Swords and keeping looking back, not seeing, not seeing something. It's like you keep looking back, not seeing that you need to depart the situation. You need to cut yourself free from it. I feel like you're fighting with somebody. You're fighting, you're, and maybe you're fighting with yourself. This is that's what it looks like to me. It's like it's a constant battle, but you're engaging yourself in this battle. Refusing to see the truth, but I feel like you are getting some sort of enlightenment. I feel like you you are. I feel like you're 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 on the path to enlightenment, but there's some sort of need to speed it up. And I, I know you can't speed it up because it's all in divine timing. But it's like I'm gonna fight it. I'm gonna fight it. I'm fighting it. I'm fight. I feel like you're fighting some sort of evolution. I also feel like there may be somebody that has entered your life, but you aren't really giving them a chance. It's like you're because you keep on looking back at the past. Why do you keep looking back at the past? It feels like there is somebody that has came in that can help you. It's like this knighting shining armor that has come into the rescue. This person is very authentic, very truthful, very honest, but you can't stop looking back at the past. I also feel like there's somebody that's picking a fight with you. Or you're picking a fight with them. It's like always wanting to fight. Got something to say. Instead of just walking away from it. Gotta fight, gotta fight, gotta fight, gotta fight. That's what I hear. Gotta fight, gotta fight, gotta fight. Gotta prove myself. That's what the hangman is. The hangman's about proving myself. I gotta prove my point. I gotta prove that I was right. That's what you've always done in the past, right? What has it gotten you? Isolation? Loneliness?
presently, right now, we have the Ace of Swords reversed, the Six of Swords reversed, and the Six of Wands. Perhaps you need to remove yourself from the communication aspect, okay? Ace of Swords is don't communicate. Shut it down. Stop. The Six of Swords reverse is stop. Not go anywhere. Don't go anywhere with it. We do have a winner here. If you want to win this battle, if you want to win a battle, don't engage. Do not engage. The winner walks away. And gets respect for doing so. I see respect. I see respect coming to you. For not engaging. Which is interesting. Don't fight. The fight is over. You think about the six of wands. Comes before it. The five of wands. Right? Which is the battle. It's the competition. You can choose to fight. Or you can choose to stop fighting. Six of Swords reversed. It's stop. Not, don't bring it anywhere. Not going to bring you peace. And I feel like you're feeling very troubled. You're feeling troubled. Maybe you're feeling troubled over miscommunication, right? Or you're not getting any communication. There's a lack of communication. There's no, there's no communication coming. Or there's no movement that is happening. And it's causing you a lot of mental turmoil. Hold your head up high. Be proud of who you are and move in a new direction. But you're stalling. It's, it's like you're stalling. It's like, no, I got to fight for it. I got I to gotta fight for it. I got to fight for it. This competition is causing you stress. It is. I feel like you you to win this battle whatever this battle is that you're in and i can see that you're battling it's clear you have to stop engaging in the trouble okay it's almost like you're getting yourself in trouble refusing to take a new approach being dishonest and, I, I, you know, it's in your present, the Ace of Swords reverse is dishonesty. And I feel like it's, and I don't think you, I, I don't feel like you're being dishonest with other people because I feel like you're very authentic. You are very truthful. I mean, the Knight of Swords, and that's your energy, is very truthful, very authentic, very, this is what it is, right? You're telling the truth. To prove your point, right? You got to prove a point. Obviously, the hate man reverses. I got to prove this point. You know what that's doing? It's causing people to turn their back on you. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be authentic, but sometimes you have to, uh, well, judgment. We got judgment up there, right? It's like, it's like a double-edged sword, really. It's like, I'm going to poke you with my truth. Even if it's not yours. Because I got to prove to you that I'm right. Your truth is not my truth. And I ain't got nothing to prove. I just earned turn my back on the whole situation because I don't need that drama in my life. I don't need that stress in my life. Because I've risen above it. I don't need to fight with anybody. Because I've risen above it. I'm not going to stoop to that level. I don't have nothing to prove. I feel like at this point, right now, you are fighting, you are competing with somebody and it's causing you mental turmoil. Stop competing. It, that's what I see, stop competing, stop competing, seriously. Stop giving it your power. You have been giving your power and your energy 
to some needless battle that you could win if you didn't say a word. There's some sort of public recognition here. It's like I want to, I want everybody to know. I want everybody to know. What, you want everybody to know that you're the winner? I feel like right now you need to stop. That six of swords reverse is stop. Stop giving your power away to prove a point. Keep it. Hold on to it. Ace of Wands reverse now in the present. S separation. Lovers reversed. I feel like you are you're dealing with somebody that you're not really compatible with. You need to detach. The lover's reverse is detach. Detach yourself from a false contract where there's no growth. There's no passion, there's no desire. It's gone south. It's be it's gone there's it's not coming to fruition. For you to have victory, you need to go in another direction. Stop stalling, stop fighting it. Stop uh, trying to make a partnership grow that is not compatible. And this doesn't have to be a lover. It could, I mean, it could be. It could be a lover, but it could also be a friend. It's somebody, you got somebody that you don't see eye to eye with, but it's reluctant. It's a lot of reluctance to move on. Six of Swords reversed. Reluctant, that is. That's reluctant to move on from a troubled partnership where there's no compatibility. It's a false contract. But I refuse to see it. Lack of clarity. Ace of Swords reversed. I refuse to accept it. I refuse to move on because I got to prove. I got to prove. I got to prove that, you know, my point that I wasn't wrong. Whoever you're dealing with, judgment reversed. Three of Wands, judgment or justice, and King of Swords reversed. How do they see you? How does your person see you? They don't, there's no chance, judgment, no chance, no chance in reconciliation, no chance, no, it's like there's no forgiveness here, there's no acceptance, the three of wands is a definite decision has been made, the judgment, another decision, the king, a decision has been made, whoever you're dealing with has already made their decision, the two of wands is at that crossroads, the next one is the three of wands, the three of wands is here, it's like the decision has been made, there's no reconciliation, there's no chance in reconciliation, there's no waking up, you know, it's time for you to move on from that bad choice. The decision has been made. It's, a best, it's the best decision for everybody involved. This person is very un unforgiving. They don't care. They don't. It's a king of swords and reversed energy. They don't care. They see you as brash. They see you as too assertive for them. They see you as somebody who... Uh, is ignorant the king I'm just going by the king I'm just telling you what how they feel if you were to look up the king of swords in reverse don't don't get all pissed off at the messenger okay the king of and I can see that that's what this is it's, it's pissed off I'm pissed I'm pissed don't you talk to me like that I don't like to be talked to like that either king of swords reverse that is clueless ignorant rude brash assertive doesn't listen, will not listen to any advice, a know-it-all. I mean, how does your person feel about you? The King of Swords is your energy, I, I'm sorry. 
you know, and I feel like they have made a decision to move on, whoever this person is that you're dealing with. And it, and it could be a father, it could be a father figure, it could be um, a partner, a lover, a friend. Somebody has made a decision to turn their back on you. They have turned their back on you. And I feel like you need to accept it. But the judgment card reverses. I will not accept it. I do not want to accept it. I'm not going to accept it. Not waking up. You know, and I feel like, I feel like you've been waiting for this person to wake up. Oh, they're going to wake up. They're going to wake up. They're not going to wake up. Their decision has been made. It's time for you to go in a new direction. It's time for you to hold your head up high and stop fighting this battle with yourself. There is a separation here with the lovers reverse. There's no passion, there's no growth. There's no, there's a lack of communication. Whoever you're dealing with is not going to change their mind. They may have chosen another option that is better suited for them. And I feel like, I feel like right now you need to be proud of who you are. Really, 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 really proud. Hold your head up high. You have a lot of support around you. You have a lot of people that respect you. But I feel like you're struggling with releasing some sort of situation with an individual that has abandoned you with the five of pentacles. This is abandoned. It is. They've left you out in the cold. I feel like you are also still going to be fighting with somebody this may be their ex, the person, or maybe you're their ex. I feel like there's a battle this week. You're battling. Either you're battling with yourself or you're battling with somebody else. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like it's strong water energy or air, another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be a Gemini particularly. But we have Pisces and Gemini the most in Capricorn. Pisces and Gemini. We also have Libra. So we have Libra, Pisces, Gemini. We also have toxic. We have unhealthy behavior. We have somebody here that is struggling financially. So they're, they're wanting to hold on. They're wanting to hold on for the money. And they're good, unwilling to budge. They're unwilling to let go because of the money. This is somebody that is extremely materialistic. They're saying all kinds of things of love. You know, they speak of love. They, they act out of love. You know, they express their feelings. This is somebody that is generally very caring. This is somebody that shows their feelings, but they're toxic. They're toxic, unhealthy. We get the King of Cups next to the devil. This is materialism. This is somebody that is emotionally manipulative right? This is somebody that is manipulating another person to get what they want financially. So you're also dealing with that person. I feel like you're going to be dealing with some toxicity, okay? You're dealing with a very toxic, unhealthy individual that is trying to ghost you or trying to push you away or push you out and, and, and I don't know if this is a friend or a family member or a lover or something like that this person has led somebody maybe they've led you or they've led your ex or they've led your parent or somebody in the wrong direction you, you, who, whoever you're dealing with I believe is dealing with a very toxic individual who has manipulated them into uh, believing that this is love but it's not it's very it's very unhealthy bond this is all about money 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 I feel like this week um, you're probably upset. You're probably upset because there's a decision that has may, been made that may have not went in your favor. It's a definite decision. There's no chance that they're going to change the contract. The contract has been signed. It, there's no going back now. 
Whoever you're dealing with has been emotionally manipulated and they're not going anywhere. I feel like you need to stop fighting. You maybe also be dealing with somebody that is very disloyal, that is money hungry. Um, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is unfaithful. They're unstable. They don't accept responsibility. Um, they don't want responsibility. This may be somebody that is financially unstable as well, that you know doesn't want to give up their financial stability. You know, they don't want to have to work for their money. They just would rather have it given to them. So I do feel like you're dealing, you're going to be dealing with some sort of uh, competition. This is a competition. And I think you have been competing with somebody. I feel like you need to break free from somebody. You need to break free from some sort of obsession. You know, it's not about the money. It's about love. Love is all that matters. And if you're not getting, if you're not getting the love that you need, then perhaps you need to turn and go in a different direction. You need to stop fighting for a a loveless situation. I feel like you are probably uh, going to be in your feelings over some sort of abandonment by the end of the week. You're really going to be feeling it. Queen of Pentacles. Talking about the future. King of Pentacles. So we have a partnership here. We have a we have a partnership here. We have two people that have shared values that are bound together. They're bound together materialistically. The devil, the queen of pentacles, and the king of pentacles. All about the money, 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 money. This, they are. I also feel for some of you, you could be receiving an offer from somebody that you have a strong connection to this uh, is somebody that you have shared values with but like I said that devil came out revert or sideways which is a challenge you can choose to be bound to a false contract or you can choose to uh, break free and partner up with somebody that you have shared values with. But it starts with knowing your own value. Because the Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Values. She knows her value. She knows her worth. She's very focused. Grounded. Grounded reality. So I believe that we have, you need to get practical. You need to uh, stabilize yourself. You need to break free from an unhealthy situation. You need to uh, start accepting help from somebody that has something of value to offer you. And there is somebody here that, that does, okay? We have, a, we have a perfect match here in your future. But the, the challenge is, is you. It's, it's your obsession. It's your obsession with holding on to something that is unhealthy or toxic. Maybe it's a, in the, we have an obsession with money here as well. Or an obsession with holding on to something. Know your value. Focus on your value. Focus on yourself. Focus on your self-value. I think you have an opportunity to partner up with somebody that you do have shared values with. That is a perfect match for you. But you're probably going to have to accept the five of pentacles is like, it's right there. There's help available right there, but you're choosing not to take it. Let yourself go in, go, go into that new partnership. Let this person help you to break free from that toxic bond. You know, I feel like you've been suffering. The four of swords is suffering. It's maybe you maybe you need to take a time out to heal. Maybe you need to focus on your healing. This is the death of a situation. So anyway, good luck Libra. <laughs>